What is up, you guys? I'm ZX Ryu, and I am back with another um, game from my childhood. Um, now that we've completed Kingdom Hearts, um, or not completed it, but at least finished Aqua's story, we're going to move on to um, Mega Man Legends 2. So there's some story dump right here at the very beginning, so we're going to go ahead and watch that, and then we'll get into the gameplay. So this goes on for a little bit. So and I'll talk about a few things after after this finishes. Like Mega Man Legends 1, this like immediately dumps you into the story. And actually, you have to skip this cutscene every single time you start the game. So it's a little bit different than Mega Man Legends 1. It's been quite a while since I've gone through this game. But it's one of the few remaining PlayStation games that I have left to go through. So figured might as well do this one next. I was thinking we should get started soon. Hard to believe it's been ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. What were they thinking? Leaving their daughter behind and going to such a dangerous place. Is that supposed to be Roll's parents as far as sure I understand? You won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Mr. Werner von Blucher? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Please that time already? The well, then I'll go on ahead, all right? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Mr. Werner von Blucher? Please report to the Central I guess Roll hall. decided not to come. Now. She's a little upset at the thought of someone finding the mother load before she does. After all, she's been looking for it all her life. I've always been fond of Roll, you know that. But all's fair in love and war. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> Nothing to report, sir. Keep your eyes wide open. If any pirates show up, I want them taken care of immediately. Yes, sir. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men who have devoted their lives to studying that infamous island... Would you have to call so many reporters? Can't have all the fun myself, can I? The more the merrier, wouldn't you agree? You never change, do you? Just try not to make a fool of yourself or me. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for your patience. I would like to present to you a brief description of our planned expedition. Now tell me, just what do you think you're doing here? Mm -hmm. I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game, hmm? Stop it, Clyde. Mind your own business. We've got enough problems as it is. What, did your little department store go under already? Ah! No, it hasn't gone under. We're just a little in the red this month, that's all. Just need a little extra cash to make ends meet. If you didn't buy only what you like, maybe you wouldn't be in this fix. Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin can? Who do you think you are? I... No squabbling till the job's finished, remember, Tizo? Tizo! As I'm sure all of you are aware, no one has succeeded in landing on the island beyond this tumultuous cloud and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Beryl and myself. Thirty years ago, Professor Beryl and I journeyed to that island and returned. Over the years, we have been asked many times what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge to ourselves, but now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves.
breakfast ready. I made the eggs just the way you like them. Hey, look, it's Gramps. Huh? Don't worry, Roll. The mother load can't be found that easily. Professor Beryl and myself are confident that the Mother Lode, which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on this island. <clears throat> this ends my presentation. Thank you. And now, are there any questions? Excuse me, Mr. Blucher? Yes? Has your research given you any clue as to what exactly the mother load might be? That's a good question. Personally, I believe it to be something of tremendous importance to mankind. Something that will help us better ourselves and the world. Perhaps a new energy source, more powerful than our current refractors. And you, Professor? Tell me, what do you think? Hmm. Well, I think... Matilda! You, you're alive! That's her! That's the one who stopped me, Angela Locker! <laughs> I think that lady was supposed to be the Catalogs lady, but I don't know. This treasure might not be what you think it is. Keep your eyes on her. What happens to you is no concern of mine. Still, I'll give you this warning. What you call the mother load is not what you think it might be. No, it's not a treasure at all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. Got it? Man, did you see that? That woman. She was my mother. Huh? But how? Why? My mother wouldn't do anything like that, would she? Let's find out. W what? Let's just go there and we can find out for ourselves. But... It's the only way to be sure, you know? Oh, I guess you're right. Hmm, let's go. I'll get changed, then get the engine started. Can you clean up the dishes for me? Thanks. <laughs> She's back to herself. So anyway, that's how the game starts. So. Like, wait for my signal to come back. Okay, so we will go ahead and... Um, you know, I just realized something. Let me make sure that I don't have another save file on here, because if I do, we're going to have problems. Okay, so I've got one save file on there, but I don't know if I can save or have enough room. Let's see here. I guess I'll see what I come up with. I, I think I can spare some room somewhere on a card. I just need to figure out where it is. So, Okay, anyway, so I guess let's go ahead and start the game. So we're going to play it on normal. We're not going to play it on easy mode. I really hope that signal drop doesn't cause too many problems throughout the game. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> oh, hey, Data, you're a kind of in the way, you know. Hey, I just thought maybe I could help you relax. <laughs> yeah, well, well, thanks, but could you sit still? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Data. Data, please, get rolled fast. Boy, Mega Man, I'm disappointed. I thought you were braver than this. You can do it. Come on, Mega Man. in working order. At this speed, we should catch up to Gramps any time now. Boy, that new engine sure is something. Completely different from the old one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was expensive, but it was worth it. I'll take over. Oh, thanks. Data, it's almost lunchtime. Can you get everything ready? Okay. Mega Man, thank you. Huh? Well, I was a little down before, and... Uh-huh. I was thinking, what would I do if they find the Mother Lode? I guess I got a little scared. Scared? Why? I've been searching for the Mother Lode, because I thought if I found it, I'd be able to see my parents again. I guess... I was just fooling myself. I've got to accept reality. Face the facts. They are gone. Both of them are gone. Oh. But still, when you said we should go see for ourselves, I remembered something my mother told me a long time ago. She said a digger should never give up hope. Right. My mom and my dad and the mother load. I won't. I won't give up on them yet. That's the spirit. We'll find him, Rule. <laughs> anyway, Mega Man, what should we do once we catch up with Gramp's ship? Okay, so here's the interesting questions. <laughs> the Flutter can't get through the winds surrounding Forbidden Island. We'll need a special ship if we want to land there. My father once designed a special kind of flying ship called a drop ship. I'm pretty sure we could use it to get there. She does look a lot like my mother, but I can't believe my own mother would do something like that. I wonder who she is. I'm really sorry, Mega Man. I needed to upgrade the flutter. I'm afraid I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. Yeah, so anything you have from the first game is gone. What to do once we get there, right? Hold a Metroid. Roll, do you smell something burning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Data! Data! I'll go see what's wrong. Wait, Mega Man, take this with you. What? W what is it? It's a fire extinguisher. I'll tell you more later. Okay, back me up. So, in this game, looks a lot better than the first one because the. Uh, the development kits were kind of progressing you know, along at this point, so right? um, so the game looks like twice as good as the first one. So, and yes, I know how to use the fire extinguisher. Okay, so there's kind of two ways to go through here. You can either spray out all of the fires, which is kind of the intended way to do it, or you can take damage and kill yourself, and then roll turns the fire extinguishers on, like turns the sprinkler system on. So, it's the speedrunners will go through here and not not put out the fire with the um, with the fire extinguisher because it's way slower. Um, but this isn't a speedrun, so we're gonna <laughs> do it the intended way. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Silly allergies are really getting me. Okay, word to the wise in this game. Don't stand directly in front of the doors when you're putting the fires out, and I'll show you why.
especially this one. Because a torrent of fire comes out of there. <laughs> okay. And it'll hurt you a lot if you get hit by that, so. Now, what's kind of silly is that there's these little sparks that fly off of all the fire, and it can catch data on fire, and so you have to put him out, too. And then he'll, like, run in the fire, and, you know, it's just... He's just a nightmare to try and control. And if he runs into you, you'll take damage like that. <laughs> This doesn't take too long to recharge, but it is still annoying. Well, stop running in the fire, you goofball monkey. Okay, there. Some more story. This is your live update. Although the Sulphur Bottoms Hall was damaged in the attack by a mysterious woman, the damage has been repaired. We expect it to enter the maelstrom surrounding Forbidden Island any time. Preparations are complete. The crew ready. The Sulphur Bottom is gathering speed, preparing to penetrate the cloud of mystery surrounding Forbidden Island. Following the attack hours ago, we were all asked to disembark and return to our ships, where we stand watching Von Blooper embark on his greatest adventure. And what may be humanity's greatest adventure? Will we succeed in reaching Forbidden Island? We'll continue with live updates throughout the day. Final check complete. We can get underway whenever you're ready, sir. Understood. Well then, everyone, are you ready? We won't let anything get in the way of a story. We're not like those wimpy TV reporters. You're really going to go through with this? They're just insane. Yes, I am. I have to. Well, if you're going to do it, then do it. I mean, we've come this far, right? Thank you, Baron. All right, then, let's go. Main engines online. Main engines online. Set course for the center of the island. Engage. Looks like they're intent on ignoring my warning. Weapons activated. Remember, I don't want them hurt. Understood. Stabilizers on this ship are amazing. You can hardly feel the wind. I'm impressed. Huh? Unidentified object approaching from above at high speed, sir. Activate defense grid. No one will stop me. Not now. I've got a bad feeling about this. Vaughn. Order the drakes to go to yellow alert and stand by. Closer. Fire now. Major trouble. Fire repressors activate. Engines offline. She's out of control. Emergency escape pod launch mechanism damaged. What? Now you've really done it. Apologies, Mr. Suna. We should retreat. You think? They probably won't crash for a while at least. I'd hope to stop them before they got this far. Rolf! The sulfur bottom is being sucked into that storm! What should we do? We can't take the flutter in there. 
And we're almost out of fuel. We'll have to set down on a nearby island. We can figure out what to do then. So we get dropped off here. Or we set down here, not necessarily dropped off here. Now you can skip text incredibly quickly in this game. If you hold triangle, it just like advances all of the text boxes. So um, I'll need to be careful about that. <laughs> So the only thing that we retain from the first game is we keep the jump springs. Okay. Let's go ahead and attempt to save onto a memory card and see if I have enough space. Okay. Oops. Okay. At least I've got some space on there so I can move the save file later. Okay, I gotta remember it's this is not Spyro the Dragon. This is <laughs> Mega Man Legends. that means that there ever actually is anything to do there. Okay. Okay. Not much going on there. <laughs> I love the uh, gigantic sign. Junk shop this way. <laughs> Can't miss that. Okay, a little bit more story here. I'm trying to remember, can we buy something?
where he's just like looking off at the distance, supposedly looking at you, I guess. I don't remember what the other dialogue box says because, I mean, obviously this is the <laughs> the one to use for the story progression, so. Looky here. don't think there's anything in here that we can pick up. Various parts scattered about. Hmm. Okay. Um, so now we need to go to the ruins, which are outside of town. Do you just say the same thing? Okay, so we get a terrible buster to begin with. We also get something called the lifter. Um, so by pressing triangle, you can lift and pick up certain things. Now, this also includes people in certain situations, but if you attempt to pick up roll, she just slaps you. And she can kill you if you attempt to pick her up too many times. So we just don't. <laughs> oh, where'd that critter go? Dog, okay. Okay, so anyway, and there's bunnies, you can shoot the bunnies, but since we like animals, we are not going to do that. Okay, now there are some extra things about out here, like Reaper bots. Uh, what's interesting about this game, too, is that uh, the lock-on now is persistent and you can move around. So you don't have the problem like you do in Mega Man Legends 1 where you're mounted on the ground while you're shooting. So it's a big it's a big deal and it was it was a pretty massive improvement, at least in my mind, when I first played this game, um, to be able to move around while locked on. So um, stutter shooting also still exists. Um, there are ways now to get treasure off of like cliffs and uh, other areas. If you jump, it like kind of sucks the part down or the refractor down to you. So another thing you can do is you can destroy these trees if you shoot them enough, but it doesn't really. There's not really much to do with that. So it's just kind of one of those. Oh, look how fancy the game is now. The terrain is destructible, but I think. It, I think actually it was in Mega Man Legends 1 as well, like some of the terrain was destructible. Hey. And I'm getting some extra money here because we're going to need it for um, some enhancements to some stuff coming up here in a little bit. And I'm trying
trying to remember if you can even do anything back this way when the game first starts. Because, I mean, I remember what's back here way later in the game, but I don't remember if there's anything here that we can get right now. Okay, that would be a no. Because later in the game, there's a treasure chest that's off over that way that's got... Um, a pretty powerful part in it, but we can't get to it right now. Hmm. These guys get pretty good zenny. Um, I guess kind of ahead of time, too, this game limits the heck out of you. Um, money wasn't so terrible in Mega Man Legends 1, but money is absolutely scarce in this game. Um... They went back and revised that for the PSP version. They lowered the cost of some stuff, um, so it's not as insane to have to buy everything. Um, but in the American version, they made it very, very difficult. So you really have to spend your money wisely unless you want to grind for a long time. So, and there's even some stuff near the end of the game that's just absolutely unrealistic in terms of the money they ask of you. So. Now, just because Roll tells you to, or like Roll kind of guides you through here, that doesn't necessarily mean that you shouldn't look around in these ruins because there are other things in here. So in this in this game, I don't I don't know how many times I went through it. I went through it so many times. Um, so it's in my mind, it's just a really really well put together game. It's very challenging, um, but especially on hard mode. Um, but you know. I just think it's been it's been made really well, and it was just kind of a it was kind of like what um, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal were to Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. It's like they took a good game and they just added a bunch of different stuff to it to make it even better. Um, so I don't know if you saw that or not, but the the lock on when I was locked onto that Reaver bot, the um, the lifter icon was flashing green. When it's flashing green, that means you can pick up whatever enemy you're locked on to. But you can only do that if you have the lifter equipped, not a special weapon. So, and we'll get into that a little bit later on. But, um, but there are enemies you can pick up and throw, and it's, in some sense, pretty advantageous to pick up and throw certain enemies. Um, because if you throw enemies into each other, like... Um, there's some shield guys a little bit later. If you throw them into each other, they'll just immediately die rather than having to fight through the shield. So, but anyway, you can pick up these guys, you can move around. Your jump is a little bit hindered, and then you can throw them, so. Um, there's also power refill drops in this game as well that they added in. Instead of just life and zenny, now you can get, um, now you can get some power refills, which help a lot. <laughs> So you're not having to run back out of dungeons all the time to um, get everything that you need. Um, the unfortunate thing about that, I guess, is because they gave that concession to the player. Um, the ring also, when it turns from red to yellow, that means you're in range to throw whatever you have lifted. Um, but since they gave the concession to the player of having special weapon energy drops, um, they also make the dungeons a lot bigger. <laughs> the dungeons in this game are enormous. So, especially the second dungeon, I think. I think it's, like, one of the most massive in the game. So, um... But, yeah, they've done they've done a lot of good things to this with this game. Um, and so I'm looking forward to kind of getting back into it and playing it again. It's been, been quite a few years since I've played this game, so... Okay, so broken model gun. So that's a part that we need for um, a special weapon. The parts for the special weapons in this game are 
very well hidden, and you usually have to do some some kind of side questing um, in order to get all of them if you want all of the special weapons in this game. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do kind of like a 100% run almost, um, but there's a lot of things that you have to do in this game in order to get 100%, and trying to upgrade all of the weapons to max is like nigh on impossible in this game. It just takes so much money and so much time. It's just not even worth it really to me. So, um, so anyway, there's that. I guess we'll figure that out a little bit later. Definitely don't want Roll getting hurt. <laughs> so she still acts as a spotter in this game, but her role is a lot. <laughs> roll, ha! Her role, her uh, the things that she does in this game are a lot different. <laughs> so there's, she does more things, I guess, which is kind of helpful, but also at the same time, there's a lot more talking. So I just stutter shoot these guys. It's a lot easier. So and with the advanced development kit, too, they were able to um, really update the graphics in this game. So it looks it looks so much better than the first Mega Man Legends did. Or does, I guess. <laughs> okay, and we get the old hover jets really early. Um, but we still need another part in order to finish building them. Uh, come here, you. Yeah, so the lifter is pretty handy. Um, I just don't use it very much. Um, because you kind of have to go into the sub-menu, switch it around, and then switch back, and it's just, eh. So, I mean, it's helpful in a couple of situations for sure, but um, for the most part, just sticking with your special weapon is better. Again, I always clear out the map just because um, there's things hidden along the walls and some other stuff. So, and they also fixed it in this game too. We're running diagonally. Uh, doesn't do the weird thing that it does in Mega Man Legends One. It's actually a diagonal movement, not a not this like weird like sidestep diagonal. So, um, so what that does then is um, for speed running purposes, you can't run at a diagonal in order to speed up the game. Ow, hey. Um, yeah, so the lifter isn't foolproof. I mean, if you touch an enemy or the hitbox extends into you or whatever, you'll still run into trouble, so. Okay, so that area where all those reaver bots were is where we need to go back to. I should have just gone through the door first off, but I forgot that that wasn't the end door. So if you do, um, if you do start, it just pauses the game, and if you do select, it'll bring up um, something where you can kind of bring up the map and everything. So. I want to go to basement floor three. Okay, so here's the first refractor.
Also, the sound the sound mixing in this game is done really well as well. They did a lot of good stuff with the sound in this game. And the music is just really good. <laughs> okay, so... So hitting this guy from the back is his weak point, so... But sometimes he'll turn too fast and you can't, like, even stutter shoot into the back, so... Just as long as we're hitting him in the back, we're good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we get some good... Good zenny out of that. So let's clean out this room. I don't believe there's anything else in here, but I think some of these platforms and things are, or platforms, these pillars are destructible. Um, but I don't think they really give you anything if you destroy them. Yeah, so I don't know if you even can destroy them. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Yeah, you can get up here and fight, you know, fight the the boss or whatever, but... Yeah, and so they kind of indirectly mention that the refractors are what causes the reaver bots to activate in some sense, so... But that's kind of, as far as that goes, if you try and look into the lore of that too much, it doesn't really go anywhere, so. I don't think there's anything else in here. Everybody, that's like the blueprint is everywhere. <laughs> okay, that's room 102. It's room 203. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, so I don't understand why this why this girl is here. So I don't remember if she I don't remember if she matters much for the rest of the game or not. It might be for some side quest or some item or something. I don't remember. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and call it here for this video because this is pretty much all of the introduction to the game. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and talk to Data and save and then we'll pick up here next time and get ready for the um, for the next big part of the story. So and save. Okay, and also the <laughs> the game clock and the real clock are way off in this game. So anyway, that's why the that's why it only looks like it's been thirty minutes, but it's actually been more like forty-five. So, 
So anyway, thanks uh, everybody for watching this introductory video. Um, we'll do some more stuff with this game here soon, and um, I hope you enjoy the series, and we'll catch you later. Bye!